Angela Arnold here, and some people have asked me how to create the header graphics that I created for my Study Abroad Success website, and I'll show you what I did. First of all, I selected four or five photographs that I liked and I would ideally like to use on my website, and I copied them into uh, Microsoft PowerPoint and into Publisher. So the first thing I did was select three or four photographs and copy them into Publisher. What I'm going to do uh, right now is copy the flags of some of the nations um, that uh, the study abroad students went to, and I'm going to copy them into Publisher so you can see, get an idea of how I did it. Okay, I'm going to cut and paste the flag of South Africa, and I'm going to combine it with those of a couple of other countries. Okay, I got South Africa up here. I'm going to copy Brazil. Oh, ooh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, okay, I'm going to undo um, because I want it to, to be separate. Okay. And then I'm going to copy another flag, and I think I'll copy the flag of Morocco because students who went there seem to love it a lot. So I'm going to copy Morocco and um, see if we can put these together on the website. Flag of South Africa seems to be quite a bit larger than the other, and we'll see how to accommodate that. So what I will do, I will crop these images until they don't have any borders around them, and they have only um, the flags, no copy at all. Okay, let's do this one. And crop that. I'm going to crop Brazil. And now I will crop the flag of Morocco. And now I'll move these flags together. I'm going to make um, South Africa a little bit smaller so it'll fit in well. And I'll put that right beside Brazil. Oh, that's perfect. And then I'll move Morocco up there. I want them to be about the same height, okay? And I'm going to see if I can make a header graphics with the flags of these three countries. So what I will do is edit this. I will um, select all, and I will copy them. And right, right now what I'll do is I will copy them onto or into PowerPoint. So here's PowerPoint. I'm going to paste them. Okay, and I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. You can see I'm just resizing a teensy. Okay, so now that looks good. They're all three on that image. And I'm going to save this as a JPEG file. Save as. Uh, I'm going to save it onto my desktop. I'm going to uh, save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to name it South Africa, Brazil, Morocco. Okay, we'll save that. Don't want to export every file, I just want this. Okay, so now I'm going to minimize this. I am going to go to my desktop and find it. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, there's three beautiful ladies there. And I will find South Africa, Brazil, Morocco. Right now I'm going to take a look at it and see uh, okay, it's 720 uh, pixels by 540 pixels, and it's only 15.4 kilobytes. So I'm going to see if I can render this in a form that's going to be acceptable to the images on uh, Weebly. So right now I'm going to fix it. I'm going to crop it down. Okay, so it's just the flags and nothing else. 
and I'm going to hit apply. And there I have that image. Okay, I'm going to um, see what this image looks like right now. That's this one right here. Uh, 720 by 540. Now that doesn't look like it's going to fit anywhere near a banner that we want, but we'll see. And then we can try to resize it as, as we can. Okay. Uh, in the, um, running out a little bit time here because I want to have these uh, small file sizes. So in the next image, I'm going, next video, I'm going to show you how I can resize it and upload it to Weebly.